Lesson 3-2, Solving Systems of Equations Algebraically. In a previous lesson on solving systems, we looked at graphing them. Today we're going to look at how to find the exact answer through solving it algebraically. There are two methods to solving systems of equations algebraically. Once would, or one would be substitution, the other would be elimination. The substitution method is best used if one of the variables has a coefficient of 1, and elimination can be used basically at any time. Today we're going to focus on substitution. So it says uh, solve using the substitution method. One of the things I like to do is to just label my equations that I'll be working with. In this case, I'll label them A and B, and this will just be for keeping things straight throughout the problem. If we look at equation A, x plus y is equal to 10, we notice that both the x and the y variables have coefficients of 1. So we're going to take equation A, and we're going to solve it for one of the two variables. It doesn't really matter in this particular problem because they both have a coefficient of 1. Uh, so we'll just solve for y. Uh, that would have us subtracting x from both sides, which would give us y is equal to 10 minus x. Now, the key thing is that we're going to substitute this expression right here, 10 minus x, into equation b. So what I suggest is that you write down equation b, 2x plus y is equal to 15. And we're going to take out the y and substitute in that 10 minus x. So we'll rewrite equation b, but instead of having y, we'll put in the 10 minus x. So the new equation b is 2x plus 10 minus x is equal to 15. Notice the equation is in one variable, and now we're going to be able to solve that equation for x. Simplifying this equation uh, will give us 2x plus 10 minus x is equal to 15. We continue to simplify this equation. 2x minus x gives us x plus 10 is equal to 15 and we will subtract 10 from both sides to isolate the variable x to find that x is equal to 5. Now remember, when solving a system of equations, if it does in fact have one unique solution, it's going to have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. Right now we know the x-coordinate, and what we have to do is we have to take this value here, this x is equal to 5, and plug it into one of the original equations. It doesn't matter which one, it should give the same result either way. I like to look at them and which one would be easier to substitute in and solve, and personally I think equation A is the easiest. X plus Y is equal to 10. So just to keep ourselves straight, we'll be working with equation A, which is X plus Y is equal to 10. Substituting the 5 in for X, giving us 5 plus Y is equal to 10. Subtracting the 5 from both sides, we find that Y is also equal to 10. Now, these are not our solutions. These are the x and y coordinates of our solutions. The ordered pair that would be the point where the two equations would cross if we were to graph them would be 5, 5. That is our solution. Taking a look at the problem in its entirety, you can see what it looks like on one sheet of paper. Moving on to a second example. 3x minus y is equal to 5, and 2x plus 2y is equal to 1. As I did in the first example, I'm going to label the equations a and b. And I think I'm going to, if we take a look at uh, substitution method again, uh, this variable has actually a coefficient of negative 1, but it is a 1, so we can, uh, we should work with equation a. So we have 3x minus y is equal to 5. To solve this for y, we'll subtract 3x from both sides, leaving negative y is equal to negative 3x plus 5. And then to correct that negative there, we'll multiply the entire equation by a negative 1. And that will change all the signs for us, which will leave us y is equal to 3x minus 5. So since we solved the equation A, we'll need to substitute this result right here, the 3x minus 5, into equation B. We'll be substituting that in for Y. 
So writing the equation down with the substitution gives us 2x plus 2 times the quantity, 3x minus 5 is equal to 1. Now we need to simplify and solve this equation. First we'll distribute this 2. 2 times 3x is 6x and 2 times minus 5 is minus 10 and that's equal to 1. Combine these like terms, 2x and 6x gives 8x minus 10 which is equal to 1. Add 10 to both sides leaving 8x is equal to 11. Divide both sides by 8. x is equal to 11 over 8. We still need to find the value of y, so let's go back to our original equations. And since y has no coefficient, I think it's going to be easier to use the equation a to do that. So 3x minus y is equal to 5. So we'll use equation A, 3x minus y is equal to 5. Remember, we're going to be substituting in 11 eighths in for the x, so that'll give us 3 times 11 eighths minus y is equal to 5. 3 times 11 eighths gives us 33 eighths minus y. Now I'm going to do something here. I'm going to rewrite 5 with a denominator of 8, which would give us 40 over 8 subtracting 33 over 8 from both sides giving us negative y is equal to 7 eighths and then multiplying both sides by negative 1 to, so we have the positive variable y is equal to negative 7 eighths Again, that's not our solution. Our solution should be an ordered pair. We solved for x earlier in this problem as 11 over 8, and the y-coordinate of our solution is negative 7 eighths. This has been Solving Systems of Equations with Substitution Method. The next video in this series on Systems of Equations will involve some problem solving. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's helped you, please comment or rate the video.